I want to play now. <laughs> Epic Seven. Download now. Wow. I mean, that was probably one of the best gacha ads I have like ever seen. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace and today we're going to be going through a couple of different gacha ads because there are a lot that are not that great and then there are a lot that are fantastic. Today, to be honest, I wanted to focus on the ones that weren't overly great. But as you guys just saw, somehow I stumbled upon this masterpiece. It's, it's actually freaking fantastic. And so my guys, we have kicked things off with a fantastic ad from Epic Seven. It seems like Smallgate, it seems like Stove, they know what they are doing here. The animation was like honestly pretty freaking insane. It was pretty much a full-fledged anime. I mean, the, the ad itself is literally called Play the Anime and I do kind of feel that. However, my guys, we have a lot to go through. So let's pause there and have a look at the next one. All right, let's have a look at this one. Dokkan Battle. Get ready for earth-shattering action. What the frick? The power. <laughs> what? We have 200 million downloads worldwide. This feels Assemble like something from the 1990s. Defeat powerful opponents with all your favorite fighters. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Available now for phone and tablet. Oh my god, that was... That actually was just like a massive blast of the past. I felt like a freaking kid watching that. It was just like the aesthetics and all of the sound effects. It reminded me very, very much of like Power Rangers, the old Power Rangers from the 2000s. That is uh, cool, solid effort. But to be honest, this is probably one of the better ones. Like there are some ultra cringe ones. You see, there is some level of gameplay that is actually in the ad. What we will see, my guys, very, very soon is that there are a couple that don't have gameplay at all. All right, next we got a Genshin one. Oh, Saya. Ama ama amateur? Come on, man. Three crystal chunks. All right. Fair. Oh. Look, I like Zhongli as well. I like Zhongli and his massive dong. <laughs> I will have order. But like, bruh, that's not even fair. And what the frick? <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess there is a little bit of gameplay in this. Wait, are you serious? Wait, wait a second. Wait. <laughs> Did this trailer literally imply because she could only get three crystals, she's a freaking amateur? Come on, man. Come on, man. This is a, this is freaking Sayuist. As much as I like Zhongli, I think he is like... That's unfair, man. That is so unfair, Season Adventure. This reminds me of those like uh, the more lewd ads where it's like, oh, pick your ex-wife or pick, you, pick your current lecturer or something. And yes, I think we are going to have some of those in today's video. All right, looks like we've got another Genshin one. Ooh. Genshin Impact for two weeks and got to level 15. I played for one week and got to level 20. That's not bad. I also played for one week and just hit level 30. That's How also so not quickly? bad. Because I did this, three things. Okay. Salmon is really important in Genshin Impact, no matter if you're exploring or fighting. So first, who can consume more salmon and saving food? Wait, stop. Salmon is using one. Climbing, <laughs> gliding. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I actually thought, I actually thought that he was talking about stamina as in like resin stamina or like the stamina that you use to actually do activities, right? So for those of you who don't play Genshin Impact, essentially in Genshin, there is a stamina system in which you have to use to collect rewards. Very similar system to like your gachas where you have to spend up your stamina or energy to actually get things done. I thought he was freaking talking about that stamina, that resin, that stamina, the energy that you have to use. But no, this guy is dead ass talking about the stamina gauge, like, like the yellow bar over here. If you guys are familiar with like Breath of the Wild or like any games that have a running gauge or a stamina gauge, he's talking about that stamina. Oh my god, I can't believe it. So you will be able to explore more areas with the same amount of stamina. Wow, got it. Next, there are a lot of treasure chests scattered all over the tail end. Each treasure chest okay. can help you level up faster. Any more tips? True, kind of sure. true. Try to collect as many oculi as you can in order to increase the level of the set you have seven. This increases your max stamina. Also, kind of true. Wait. Tips for you. Why? Why do they start off with such a dumb tip? Holy crap. I suspect they did that to make us actually watch through the entire video. And you know what? It actually got me watching. So, <sighs> mission accomplished, huh? Let's keep going. Look how far I got. Look. Woohoo! Genshin Impact. Explore Teyvat with friends now. Okay. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> this, that sequence literally just then. I... Okay. 
Maybe maybe it's because I actually just don't watch TV anymore and I haven't watched for like several years, but I have not heard something like that in, well, I mean, I guess maybe since like the Dock and Battle video, but before that, like a long time. Where in the world are these being broadcasted? Are they YouTube ads or something? Like, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I don't even see YouTube ads that are like, like, like this. All right, it looks like we have a continuation from last one. Oh, this monster is so strong, I died again. Help, I need healing. Oh. <laughs> What are you guys fighting, huh? Need some help? Yeah, we are fighting the Wolf of the North in Genshin Impact. We lost twice already. Wolf of the North. Yeah, it kind of sounds cool when you say it out loud. You guys are using the wrong characters. You see, Kaya is a cryo, but this monster is immune to cryo. Don't use Kaya to challenge this enemy. I can help you guys take on this monster using my Thangni, who's a cut bro. Okay, okay, cool. That's, it's kind of legit, like what he's saying, right? But does this actually entice people to want to play the game like there is an element of the gameplay and then some explanations and stuff but i don't know if you guys are watching this would this make you want to try genshin but i will take my noel who is joe to protect you guys everyone ready it makes sense actually you know what it's cool it's kind of cool we'll speak about it in a sec oh let's go xiangling xiangling's freaking strong he just dude he just finished that Oh my god. Do you guys freaking see that? They finished the wolf off with 919 geo damage. I <laughs> freaking kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. Anyway. Okay. Team up with friends now. Okay, that one I actually kind of liked. Because this one is not really focusing on like the gameplay of Genshin Impact. It's more focusing on the fact that you can actually do like a, a collab, a co-op team option, right? And there are certainly a lot of people probably that are looking for multiplayer games. Like I know I want to play games with my friends. It also kind of makes sense and I guess gets the message across and it, it kept me watching, I guess. All right, time for mommy. Time for some riding. <laughs> This has got to be one of the best teasers I've ever seen. It's so freaking sick. Like, look at the freaking go. Look at the effects. Oh my god. Do they, do they show her using her ult? Come on, they've got her. It's like the best part of it all. Hey? Hey? Wait, really? They show off the live 2D, but they don't actually show her using her ultimate, which is very strange, considering that's probably like half the hype of her entire character. Certainly one of my favorite ads, one of my favorite teasers so far. But yeah, they definitely should have shown off her ult. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure like everybody was talking about her booboo sword. All right, here we go. These are the job. top tier ads. Your boring group of friends, now you can get away from all that nonsense by devoting your life to Arknights. <laughs> A game that will give you all the action, strategy, and anime you what need the with none star. of the filler. As you guard the okay. sanctity they of the right they actually have some gameplay here, which is nice. That makes nerds' hearts tingle with joy. What is? In wait, what is with these subtitles? What in the world is going on? Your real life. Okay, that's I. I guess my issue is that like they all feel like ads out of the 1990s or the 2000s. And I swear to God, it's been like a very, very long time since I've seen those kinds of ads. All right, so we've got another AK before, ad. And playing it feels like plunging into the exhilarating unknown. And then hurled into a battle. Huh, what? Of every proportion. Wait, is this an Arknights ad? And just when you think all hope is lost, you emerge victorious. And that's what it feels like to play Arknights. <laughs> What did I just watch? What? What? It was going to boxing and in the basketball? What was before that? Wasn't there like a horse or something? What the heck is going on? How in the world did these guys come up with this? What does what does basketball have? What does what does any of this have to do with Arknights? What? Your star, Hypergriff. Come on, man. Get it together. All right, we got another Arknights one. Oh, I've seen this one. This one's good. Running out of time. Spiral. We need a crash car now! Clear! Wait! Sorry, kid, we don't have time to listen to an intern. I can save him. In the world of terror, a mysterious disease has torn civilization apart, and only you can save them. <laughs> okay. Arc Knights. Okay. All right. All right, so not a single bit of gameplay in this one. However, they do kind of have the context correct. 
they are a bunch of doctors. <laughs> and if you guys don't play Arknights, essentially as the Arknights main character, you are playing as a doctor. Although I don't know if it's actually like surgical theater doctors like they are depicting over here. But yeah, this is certainly one of like the first cringe ads that set me down the rabbit hole. And although I have seen it before, it's it's this part that always gets me. Like it's, it's kind of okay. And then... <laughs> It's just like, it just always takes me back. The whole cheesy voiceover thing, like, it it just really, really feels like some olden school ads. I mean, my god, if some of these have actually worked on you guys, you guys are better freaking fess up down in the comments, man. I know that my brother's girlfriend has, <laughs> has fallen for a lot of these. Alright, and we have a Summoner's War one here. I actually do remember this one. This is quite an old one. I believe it's probably like five years old now, maybe even longer. But this is probably one of the most fantastic ads for gacha games I have seen. And you'll see why. Like, look at that. That's cool. That's cool. It's like, it's not the greatest CGI. But that's freaking cool. <laughs> like, they put so much effort into this. It's, it's not, it's not that bad. The CGI really, look at that. Interacting with the real world. She's got roasted, bruh. Power Rangers. Let's go. Wait a second, that's not Power Ranger. He's gonna get a slap. No, he's gonna get a golem. Okay. Dude, dude, that sequence. Look at that sequence. Look how freaking real that sequence looks. Flying through, gets through the window, takes. Oh my god, that actually. All that motion blur, all of that, like. That was freaking sick. Like the whole interaction with the real world, I, I love it. I'm a massive, massive fan of like AR and VR. Eh? Oh, we got a little angeling thing. Oh, we got a gold scroll now. All right, let's freaking go. I do remember this from so long ago. Look at that. Look. Oh my god. Let me let me scroll back a little bit. That's just. It just looks so fantastic. Like the blending of the character of the Archangel into like the surroundings in the real world. I just think it's so freaking awesome. Don't you don't you think? And then we've got we've got some flames and now they're fighting in the neighborhood. <laughs> Which is cool. But it, it freaking works, man. This ad actually freaking works. Not to top. Oh, there's gameplay too. And you actually see the dragon in game as well. And there's not really any like cringe acting. Hey! I got next! Okay, wait, hold up. <laughs> that was cool. That that is probably like come to us, of course it is. That is certainly one of my favorite ads like for gacha games all time. I would say it's certainly comparable to the Epic 7 one. And you guys do need to remember that this bad boy came out 2015. It kind of feels like it might have even come out before then. But that is literally seven years ago to produce like this level of animation and mixing into into all of like the real scenes, right? Like oh, this is just so this sequence. Bam. Oh my god, like that motion blur is so freaking good. Like look at this guy mid-flight, it actually looks like that freaking golem belongs in that video. Summoner's War, I certainly have played it, but that was that was when I was very, very young. Alright, and so now we've got the other lane ones. These are these are like the epitome of cringe. <laughs> hey, wait a second, Azur Lane's a dating sim? Oh my lord. Ah. Oh, no, Atako. Everybody loves Atako. Okay. Okay, that actually wasn't that cringe. That was really odd because, like, the cringe in this one is kind of different. It's like, well, it's kind of like a dating sim. It's not really for everybody. It's more marketed towards DGENs. And I'm, like, 99% sure that this is not how Azure Lane goes. Like, you don't just feed them stuff and get an excited gauge up. You didn't impress me, man. It feels bad. <laughs> it's not like the type of cringe that we had for the um for the Doctor ones, for the Arknights ones, right? Like these were these were anime you need with none of the filler. As none of the filler. The <laughs> but yeah, it's Again, it's kind of like a different kind of cringe, right? Can... So for that, especially for the Doctor one, it was it this one over here? <laughs> 
Uh, the Azur lanes are probably still above the Arknights ones. The Arknights ones are bottom of the barrel. All right, and our last clip of the day for Azur lane. I swear to God, Azur lane is about like flying ships and stuff. I'm like 99% sure it's about flying ships, not like a dating sim. It's, it's actually not bad. It's actually not that bad. It's just incredibly misleading. It's, I don't even, like, can you even do that in the game? I've never played Azure Lane, to be honest. Like, perhaps there is a gifting system, but that's not exactly the core gameplay, right? Because I'm watching this and I'm thinking like, bruh, I want to play this dating sim. And you know what? Maybe after this video, I'll go, you know, I'll go play some dating sim on Azure Lane. But to be honest, I freaking know better than that. It's, it's not supposed to be a dating sim. So whilst it's not like ultra cringe in the sense that like, you know, a surgical doctor posing to be a doctor that's lost his memories and is, I don't, I actually I have no idea what's going on with that freaking doctor. This one is more cringe in the sense that it's like misleading and I don't really like that. However, I think that's our last video. I, I did not have the chance to go through all of them. There are, there are actually so many of these on the web. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If there are some that you do want me to see, like these ones over here, all of the Girl X Battle 2 ads, I know those ones are ultra cringe. And then you got the Mafia ones, like uh, Mafia City, A Kiss of War. My guys, I have not even touched on the more like Western style games. Like, let's have a look at this. Oh my God. All right, you know what? Maybe I will play. Okay. I've, I've seen this one, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, maybe we can... <laughs> Oh, massage or have tea. Okay, let's leave it there, my guys. Let me know if you guys have come across any other cringe, probably the anime focused ones, advertisements for the gadget games, and let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up dropping a comment, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video, so thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider a like, and if you would like to see more, please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, my guys, as, uh, as Atago once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.